All right, this is the last lecture. We're gonna talk about the generalized Stokes theorem. And here's the statement. So K is greater than one, and it was a compact oriented K manifold iron, and we have boundary to induce orientation if it's not empty. And we let omega be a K minus one form. So we're gonna talk about this differential form. Opus and iron kind of M. Then we have this and we are equal to each other. So they're e these two are equal. If it is not empty. If the boundary is empty, then we simply have this equal to zero. The differential. The differential of this form. <coughs> and alright, so <coughs> Step one, we just cover M by carefully chosen coordinate patches. So for P, interior point, so we pick coordinate match such that of us in the given orientation and you open the RK and the unit Q is in Q and one point in the interior has of X equal to P. So how can we make this choice? Because for given arbitrary coordinate patches, we just stretch and translate the functions and the domain to make this come true. And we just make W to be the interior of this cube, and we let Y equal to the image set, then this is another still a coordinate patch. And for P is a boundary point, we pick that open HK, IK belongs to a subset of U and a point this so it's on the bottom face open bottom face such that <coughs> now we set omega w to be equal to this set and y is the image set so it's on another coordinate patch and because we know these three operations are linear so this is our statement right that involves this integral this integral and also this differential operator now, this is linear, so if we show the theorem holds, if this set C can be covered by a single coordinate patch, if, can, if C can be covered by a single coordinate patch, then by definition, which is here, right, we have this is equal to this, and is it going to be equal to this because D is linear, and, and, we, because since we proved that this can be done by a single coordinate patch, right? So these two are equal. This is our assumption, right? Because their support is can can be covered by single coordinate patch because we're doing, um, we're doing partition of unities. <coughs> so we have this. So does their sum. So we can sum up them. We can sum up them. Sum them up, and we observe this sum. It's basically equal to this because this is linear, right? And this is a partition of unity, so this. So it turns out that this is equal to this. Okay, then we're done. So we just consider the case when C can be covered by a single coordinate patch. And we also note that when omega vanished, the D omega also vanished because D is linear, right? It maps zero element to zero element. This is linear transformation. The support, we have this, we give this, then we know that this contains C. Now, we let N be this form, right? Because when we're calculating integrals over forms, we need to involve this. And neither can be extended to a C smooth form, because S alpha could be extended on a smooth form, on an open set of this containing IK. Now, neither satisfy the condition of lemma. What is the lemma? So the lemma is, is this lemma. We proved it last in the lecture. Right? We have blah, 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 so many. But it has the condition for the last lemma, so we could apply it. Okay? So just remember that. And step two, right? If C is covered by some formula as a first type, so if we're in this case, right? If we're in this case, 
So first we do some algebra and then we do this. This is by definition and this is equal to this because we're given this and this by lemma. This by lemma we have this. Okay, where B is the mapping what I talked about. <laughs> and since need to vanish on this set, right? So here, here is like here's like the support of it's like the support of Nita, right? Because oh, omega takes from here and omega, right? And alpha star omega is like the domain is here, right? And remember the formula of this. There's some 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 omega. So omega of alpha x, right? Something like that, right? Then because this is a compact, right? So it cannot be, you know, and it's open in W, so. And W is interior, so you cannot touch the bait, like the, the lines, those lines, because W is the interior, and you're open in an open set, right? Now, this, then we have this is true by direct computation. Then we show that this is equal to zero, because this vanishes, right? Okay, so if this is empty, we do have nothing else to say, so we're done. Otherwise, it's still true because the support of omega is empty in section with the boundary of the manifold. Here, we just still look at the diagram, right? So this, all the points in the support of omega is in the interior point. Like, all the points here are into interior points, right? All the points here are interior points. Then we can conclude that this is empty, so we have this true. Right? Now, if it's second type, we're going to use the induced orientation. Now, since we have this true, then we have this equation. If it's second type, we have this is true. You can verify it on your own. And for this, we have, this can be covered by, by this mapping. So beta is a corner patch on this. Beta is basically the alpha being restricted. So it's a corner patch on this. It's an induced orientation if k is even. Opposite if k is odd. So no matter what, we have this sign, right? Now. Yeah. we have this to be equal to this then we apply the lemma we have done and we have proven the generalized Stokes theorem